If you watched my videos in the past, you know that I made content around skincare. Let me catch you up on why I stopped making videos and what I've been doing in the meantime. Long story short is I am a medical student. Yeah, even though I never shared this on my channel, I am actually a medical student and I must love coming out of the closet or something because you already know I'm gay. And now you know that I'm a medical student set to graduate in May of 2024. I will be sharing later in this video what field I applied into because that is a huge part of being a physician, right? But I stopped making videos in November of 2022 because I was a third year medical student and third year is the busiest time of medical school and this is because you're on your clinical rotations. This is when you're in the hospital rotating on different services such as internal medicine, surgery, psychiatry, OBGYN, pediatrics, etc. And you're learning how to take care of the patients that are coming on to these different services. A lot of the time you're in the hospital by 6 a.m. in the morning and you don't get out until 5 p.m. So during some parts of the year, that is before the sun has risen and you get out after the sun has set. So you don't even see a single ray of sunshine. It's pretty sad. On top of that, when you get home, it's not like you can kick your feet up and relax. You have to study some more because at the end of each of these core rotations, you have an exam that is graded and it's factored into your final grade for the overall rotation. And when you're applying to residency, it can really bolster your application to have strong grades in third year. Third year grades are what matter most in medical school. On top of that, you're trying to keep up with extracurricular activities as well as research. And we haven't even talked about basic necessities like taking care of yourself grocery shopping, cooking, laundry. So you can see how things were really consuming and that's why I decided to take a step back from YouTube. I'm very fortunate to say that I did really well in third year and I would attribute that to mostly luck. Even though I made it to the end of third year, it's not like I could come back to YouTube because now I had to take my second licensing exam known as step two. So step one is the first licensing exam we take in medical school and it was previously scored, but I took it pass fail. And so in the past, step one, the numeric score you got on there really determined your candidacy for competitive residency programs. But with it moving to pass fail, you know, that number sort of just was punted down to step two. So it was important for me to score really high in step two to increase my chances of getting into a competitive residency. So I spent the summer after third year preparing for step two. I took step two and luckily I did well. Here's my score. What, like it's hard? And then I was now thrust into fourth year, which is surprisingly busy in the first half because there's so many things going on. I did some away rotations. I was preparing my application for residency and that entails trying to write the best personal statement and just getting your letters of recommendation and just pulling everything together. And this was a super stressful time because on every applicant's mind is the question, what if I don't match? It's a scary thought when you consider that you've plunked down probably $60,000 a year in tuition to go to med school. And if you don't match, upon graduation, you don't have a job to go to. Residency is where we get our salary. It's not a lot of money, but it's a salary nonetheless. And to be that deep in debt without a job, understandably is gonna make us super anxious. Also, you just can't practice as a physician without residency training. So everything is contingent on you landing a residency position. It's sort of messed up. And then for me, the field that I applied into, this year they had a 50% match rate. 50%, meaning half of fourth year med students that applied matched, but the other half didn't. So people slipped through the cracks all the time. Highly qualified candidates slipped through the cracks all the time. So you can see why we're super nervous. Anyway, July, August, September, I'm doing away rotations. At the same time, I submit my applications in September, and then I am interviewing for programs in December, January, and I have one final interview in February, which is pretty late into the season. So now we're caught up to February of 2024. I submit my rank list at the end of all of this. This is a list of programs that I interviewed at, organized by programs that I wanna train at the most, followed by programs I wanna train at the least. So you submit that into an algorithm, which takes my preferences and program preferences to match you up to a residency program to train at. So I submit this and I'm just waiting to hear back on Match Week, which runs from March 11th to the 15th. So on Monday, March 11th, we found out whether or not we had matched into the specialty we applied into. And then on Friday, March 15th, we found out where exactly it was that we were going to. So let me just take you back to Monday of Match Week. This is March 11th, 2024. So I applied into dermatology. I love my would you like some water with raspberries while you wait? Uh. And on Monday, March 11th, I was coming back from a dermatology conference in San Diego and I had plans to fly home. I'm from the West Coast, I'm from Northern California and my flight is scheduled to take off at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 7 a.m. local. And that is the exact same time that the email that's gonna tell us our results of our residency application is scheduled to come out. So 
It's 6.55 a.m. local time, 9.55 Eastern Standard Time, and I'm boarded. The pilot is announcing to the cabin crew to take off. I'm texting my friend saying, you know, five more minutes. We are drowning in anticipation. And in the midst of texting for three minutes or so, all of a sudden I get an email notification and my heart skips a beat when I realize it's the email telling me about the results of my residency application because in the headline it says 2024 match results. Everything is happening so fast because I expected this email to come out five minutes later, not three minutes later. So it came out early by two minutes and below the headline, I just see the words, congratulations, you have matched. I can't even explain the rush and the high that I felt seeing those words because med school was really tough. But beyond that, it was just all the months of uncertainty that were building up up until this point. And to finally know that I was going to become a dermatologist, that I came into medical school for the sole purpose of becoming a dermatologist. I kind of knew from day one that dermatology was the field that I wanted to go into. And to be able to finally realize that dream was honestly so much like a fairy tale. For those of you who are also pursuing some sort of goal that requires a long journey, whether it's through a formal educational path or not, I just want to encourage you to keep going because once you make it to the other side, it feels so amazing. And I remember when I was actually doing an away rotation in dermatology, I was basically counseling the patients in clinic that day. When I was leaving the clinic and walking to my car on the way home, I had the biggest smile on my face, just thinking to myself, this is the field that I'm supposed to be in. And you know, at that time, it was the beginning of fourth year, I hadn't matched yet. So I couldn't say that I was actually gonna become a dermatologist. But now I've reached a point where I'm actually able to say that I am going to become a dermatologist. And it just feels so good. And I just can't wait to acquire all the knowledge I need to make a difference in patients' lives. So anyway, we took off. I lose service, so I can't check in with all my other dermatology applicant friends to see if they also got good news. They all matched as well. But in the air, I just started to bawl my eyes out. Honestly, tears of joy, but somewhat bittersweet because I was also just thinking about, you know, the toll that med school took on me because it did affect me in ways that I didn't realize, you know, being so far away from my support systems. Um, I'm on the opposite coast for medical school and all of my family is on the West Coast. So that was really, really hard. It was a really weird moment. I was just sort of like validating everything that I experienced. You know, all the lonely times in medical school balanced with the reward on the other side, which is, being able to realize my dream of becoming a dermatologist. Okay, that's where I've been, honestly, busy chasing my dreams, making them come true. I'm really excited to be back on YouTube. Expect some mashup of skincare videos with my journey through residency. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in my next video.